Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ingus and I'm ID8 Electronics. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of experiment. And one of those is I wanted to know what happens if you overload CPU's power supply. So how, how many cards, because this CPU can take a hell of a lot of cards. So I wanted to know how many cards he can take before he runs out of power, because he has to power all these cards. You know, he's got the bus, bus in the back that he has to power them all and, 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 and things like that. So eventually he must run out. I wanted to know, what does he do? What does he do? What does he, what does he, what, what's, what's his action when that happens? So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So how about we do that and see how to fix it. Get started. <laughs> So we have added uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and our CPU is uh, still working. Excellent. So let's shut it down. Let's add one more. Just had a quite interesting writing on the card. Good Q20. I don't know what that has to mean. But let's add another card in our system and see what happens. So here we go. Let's power it up. Let's drag a camera a little bit to on this side. And see what happens. Let's, uh, is it still can handle it? Come on, load it in. So all of them are flashing. So all of them are trying to work. And it's connecting. No, here we go. Look at that. It shut it down. See. He shuts the automatically all the cards down and he comes up with a power failure. By the way, guys, that power failure can be as well from short from these cards as well. I do believe that fault comes in with if, if any. Oh, look at that. He's trying, he's trying again. He's trying again. So what's he going to try to do? No, he's coming up. Here we go. He keeps shutting down. Now, it's basically what he does. It looks like, it looks like he keeps cycling it. So let's don't do that. So uh, rather than overloading the CPU, you're just going to keep recycling it because he sees the current's going to a certain level. It says, no, I can't, uh, no, I, I can't no longer support these cards and I cannot do it. So let's try to fix it. For that, we're going to need this guy. So this guy is additional power supply. So it's a fancy dancy and that's the one you, we're just going to literally plug. We're going to unplug this card. So uh, let me move the camera a little bit this way oh almost lost it here we go so let's see if we can uh fit another one in so if, see if that problem persists once we've done that so let's remove that so and add the power supply so from that point on so technically from that point on this power are going to be so supporting the next load of cards so uh, let's plug that on Bang, that one's on it. So the next thing what we need to do, look at this fancy little thing. It looks when you when you uh, plug it in, it goes like that. It looks like really nice and professional. We're not gonna do that. How do we open this up? How do we open this up? Let's have a look at this. There we go. What more we, oh, that, that's really nice. So the cable will go in there. I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure what that's for but hey what i want to do can i take this out because i don't want you i don't want you to do it i don't want you to be sexy and nice i just want you to be basic so here we go we're just going to use this connector and uh wiring 24 volts supply and see what happens There we are, wired in. So you can see my I put, put my 24 volt DC supply into it. I didn't put earth into it, so because I'm, I'm not gonna keep it. But you guys should put earth into it if there's if there's if there's, a, if there's a need for earth, you put earth into it. It's as simple as that. So let's see what happens when we start up. So here we go. So uh, TCU starts up and does nothing. So let's close that off. So and now let's put our a uh, whole of the let's move the camera a little bit. Forward. Let's see what happens. I've never, I've never tested this yet. So we are all get to learn together. So and that's technically what they say should 
pretty healthy now. So there we go. So power supply is still flashing. So I wonder what's going to happen. You're connecting. All the cards starting up. So. So. Is there anything else we need to do? I love this kind of stuff. So, and there we go. So. Looks like that went into run now. So now he's got the power supply. He can support the next load of cards. But this what these ones are flashing. I presume we need to configure them. So let's jump on our TI portal and let's have a look at it and uh, configure this guy. All right, you can see now all my cards are uh, popped up and here's our, here's our power supply. Let's check it out what we've got in here. So under this is, is properties. So let's take that one off. We don't need that one. So parameters, and there, so what do we have in here? It's got a diagnostics, that's good, handy, so we can support voltage monitoring. Oh, how do I, what does that do? Oh yeah, something we're going to be checking out, possibly, in a, and switch position. Switch position, if the option is activated, diagnostics will be triggered when the on-off switch on the module is in. Oh, that's good, look at that guys. So here we go, so uh, let's load this in. So he's got some of diagnostics, not much. So what does that do? Can you tell us what you do? And there. So if the option is activated, diagnostics is triggered at the event such as feed-in connector on the power supply is not correctly plugged in. Input voltage is missing. Excellent, look at that guys. He's giving you two uh, nice options for you to uh, diagnose a fault on your line. So what we're going to do now, so uh, let's load this in. Obviously, this is not going to stay where it is. I just wanted you guys uh, sh uh, to show you guys this. This is what happens when your power failure... Uh, this is one of the things going to happen when your power failure would pop up. You have overloaded your uh, a, a CPU's power supply. And you need to add additional from the point you have overloaded. And then you can carry on and then add more and carry on and add more. So uh, that's it. Let's load this in. And technically, technically we should have a uh, all the faults disappear. I just restarted my uh, uh, TI portal, so it's gonna be a bit of a, not, so, not as quick as, as I would like. So, uh, but he's doing all right. So remember I made a video about my laptop. Once this, uh, this laptop takes, takes him a bit, a bit, a little bit to get in the gear, but once it does, it is running. So here's our uh, system in there. So uh, what we're gonna do, we are going to Oh, switch the camera. So let's remove that. So is it this one? Yes. So uh, I can't see what I'm doing now. So let's continue without synchronization and let's hold in and see if it, here we go. It's happy there. All the cards are happy there. Even though that green one looks like it's flashing, it's not. It's just a weird. It's a weird thing from the actual uh, camera itself, our CPU is in start mode. I'm pretty sure I know why that is there, because we haven't finished finalized the thingy there. And let's uh, finish, start up the modules, and there we go. That's, ladies and gentlemen, let me just swap the cameras, is additional power supply to your system with some diagnostics. Why not? That's one of the things what could happen when you see that power failure. And that'll do for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and gives you a bit of an insight how that will work and how to solve this issue if you are having. So without further ado, no, sorry. I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, like a, a ram. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button if you do enjoy it. And I'll see you next video.